بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to my YouTube channel Calculus and Mathematics Learning In this video I will solve some of the questions related with exercise number 1.7 related with the linear, uh, linear algebra base C written by the two uh, persons of uh, Bernard Coleman and David R. Hill 8th edition So the first question of exercise 1.7 is show that 2 1 minus 2 3 is non-singular and the second question is show that 2 1 minus 4 minus 2 is singular so remember that this exercise is related with the reduced echelon form. So over here we will use the reduced row echelon form. So through the reduced row echelon form we will know that either this matrix is non-singular or singular. So let's suppose I consider this matrix which is equal to A, which is equal to 2, 1, minus 2, 3. So over here I do the operation R1 plus R2. So with this matrix I add this matrix. So the first row will come down as it is and add this row with this. So minus 2 plus 2 gives us 0 and 3 plus 1 gives us a 4 row. So over here this row is not entirely 0. It means that the given matrix is non-singular. Non-singular. Now move to the second question. It tells that show that 2, 1 minus 4 minus 2 is singular. So let's suppose this is equal to a matrix C which is equal to 2, 1 minus 4 and uh, minus 2. So I do the operation over here. I add uh, R2 plus uh, R1. So the first row will come down as it is, which is 2, 1. And in the second row, first we are going to multiply the first, <coughs> we are going to multiply the first row with 2. So 2 multiply 2 will give us 4 row. And 2, uh, 1 multiply 2 will give us 2. Minus 4 minus 2 will come down as it is. Now apply the operation. So the first row will come down as it is, I add R2 plus R1. So 8 minus 4 with 4 gives us 0 and minus 2 plus 2 will give us 0. So remember according to the properties of matrix, when entirely rows are entirely column is 0 in a matrix, it means that the matrix will be singular. It means that this matrix is a singular. Now move to the next question. Question number 3 tells that is the matrix 1, 1, 3, 4 singular or non-singular? If it is non-singular, find its inverse. So let's suppose the matrix is equal to A which is equal to 1, 1, 3, 4. So I do the operation over here, multiply R1 by 3, so it becomes 3, 3. 3, 3 and this will come down as it is 3, 4. Now after this, I do another operation, subtract R1 minus R2. So 3 minus 3, 0 and 3 minus 4 gives us minus 1 and the first row will come down as it is. Now, for the singular matrix, it is necessary that the entirely rows are entirely column should be 0. But over here, 1 minus 1 is not 0, that's why it is non-singular. So if it is non-singular, so for the inverse, we have the formula that A into A inverse is equal to identity matrix. So our A is 1, 1, 3, 4. And let's suppose A inverse is A, B, C, D. I considered it. And I is actually the identity matrix, which is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. Now by multiplying these two matrix, it will give us A plus C, B plus D, 3A plus 4, C, 3B plus 4D. And this will come down as it is. Now over here, A plus C is equal to 1. B plus D is equal to 0. 3a plus 4c is equal to 0, 3b plus 4d is equal to 1. Now by solving this poor linear equation, it will give us a poor c minus 3, b minus 1, and our d will be equal to 1. By putting these poor uh, uh, values over here in the a and what so a, b, c, d, so our a is poor, so it become poor. b is minus 1, so it become minus 1, c is minus 3, so it become minus 3, and our d is a uh, one. So by putting these poor values, it will give us that a and what so. So this is actually the required in what now move to the next question. Question number 4. Is the matrix 1, 2, minus 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 1 is singular or non-singular? If it is non-singular, find its inverse. So this is same just like question number 3, but over here the condition is 3 cross 3 order matrix and the given question number 3, the condition was 2 cross 2 order matrix. So, so taking the given matrix, let's suppose I consider this matrix which is equal to A, which is equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, 1. Over here I will apply the same row echelon form. So over here I will do the two operation 3 R1 minus R2. So multiply 3 with the first matrix and subtract the second matrix. So 3 multiply 1 gives us 3 and 3 minus 3 gives us 0. 3 multiply 2 gives us 6, 6 minus 2 gives us 4. 3 multiply minus 1 minus 3 and minus 3 will give us minus 6. And the second operation will be 2 R1. So 2 multiply 1 and minus 2 0. 2, 2 into 2 4, 4 minus 2 2. 2 into minus 1 minus 2 and minus 2 minus 1 minus 3. Now again I will apply the another operation over here. 
Divide the second row with 2 or 2 by 2. So it becomes 1, 2 minus 1 comes down as it is, 0, 2 minus 3 comes down as it is. Divide the second row with 2, it becomes 0, 2 and minus 3. Now over here again apply the another operation. Subtract the second matrix from the third row. So 1, 2 minus 1 comes down as it is, 0, 2 minus 3 comes down as it is, 0 minus 0, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, and minus 3 minus into minus 3 gives us 0. Now over here, if the third row is entirely 0, it means that the given matrix is singular and it has no inverse. Now move to the next question. That tells that in exercise 5 to 10 find the inverse if possible. So in question number 5 we have 3 parts, part A, B, C. So the first part is 1, 3, minus 2, 6 find the inverse of this matrix. So you know this data identity that A into A inverse is equal to identity matrix. So our A is 1, 3, minus 2, 6 let's suppose and our A inverse is let's suppose A, B, C, D. Is equal to identity matrix will be 1, 0, 0, 1 in 2 cross 2 order matrices. Multiplying these two matrices, it will give us this result is equal to n001. Over here, we have four linear equation is generated. Through this poor linear equation, we can find the value of a, b, c, d through the method of substitution or either elimination method. So the value of a is 1 by 2b is minus 1 by 4c, 1 by 16, 1 by 12. Putting these four values over here in the place of a inverse is equal to a, b, c, d, it will give us a inverse, which is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4, 1 by 6, and 1 by 12. Move to the second part of 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, find the inverse of this matrix. So we will find the inverse part the matrix part 3 cross the order and higher order matrices we will use oh, this method. So after this oh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, after this we will take the partition and take the uh, identity matrix which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now on the right hand side we have identity matrix. So in the result oh, over here the inverse will be generated and on the left hand side oh, in place of A so identity matrix will be generated in the result. Oh. Now using the row operation method R1 minus R2 so 1 minus 0, 0 uh, over here 1 2 3 so 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 1 3 minus 2 gives us 1 and this row will come down as it is now after this <coughs> subtract r 2 minus r 3 so 1 minus 0 1 0 minus 0 0 1 minus into minus 1 it will give us 2 so 1 minus 1 0 and uh, r 2 minus r 3 over here 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 2 minus 1 1 minus 0 1 and minus 1 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 now by solving in the last over here the identity matrix will be generated 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and on the right hand side the inverse of the given matrix will be generated so in this case so oh, the inverse of this matrix is 0 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 1 and 1 this is the inverse now move to the next question question number 11 it tells that which of the following linear system have non-trivial solution there are two parts in this question part a is x plus 2y plus 3 is 0 2y plus 2z is equal to 0 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 0 so write it in augmented matrix so it become 1 2 3 0 2 2 and 1 2 3 this is the coefficient now over here i do the operation subtract uh, this matrix uh, this row number 3 from row number 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 and 3 minus 3 is a 0. So over here the third row is entirely 0. So remember according to the properties of matrix when the entirely rows or column in a given square matrix is 0 it means that uh, the given system have non-trivial solution. The system will have non-trivial solution only when the matrix is singular. So this matrix is a singular and this system have non-trivial solution. Move to the second part 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0 my x minus 2y minus 3 is 0 minus 3x minus y plus 2z is equal to 0. Write an augmented matrix form. So over here interchanging R1 and R2. So R2 will move to the first row and R number 1 will move to the second row. So it become 1 minus 2 minus 3 and 2 1 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 2. Now over here I will do the two operation R2 minus 2 R1. So R2 minus 2 R1 will 0. R2 minus 2 R1 will 5. Minus 1 into minus into minus 3 gives us 5. And another operation is R3 plus 3 R1. So R3 is minus 3 and uh, plus 3 time up R1 it becomes 0 and minus 7 minus 7. Now after this another operation R2 by 5 it becomes 1 minus 2 minus 3 0 1 1. 0 minus 7 minus 7 comes down as it is. Another operation is R3 by negative 7 it becomes 0 1 1. Now again uh, subtract R3 from R2 it becomes 0 0 0. If the entire row is 0 it means the system have non-trivial solution it means the given matrix is a singular. Now move to the next question, question number 12. Which of the following linear system have non-trivial solution? This is same just like question number 11. There are total three parts. Oh. So taking the first part of augmented matrix oh, and doing the operation R2 minus 2 R1 it becomes 0 minus 1 and it becomes minus 3. Now second operation is R3 minus 3 R1 becomes 0. R3 minus 3 R1 becomes minus 4. R3 minus 3 R1 gives us minus 5. Now doing another operation R1 plus R2. 1 plus 0 1. 1 minus 1 0. 1 minus 3 minus 2. And the second operation is multiply the second row by negative. It becomes plus 1 and plus 3. 
Now after this, so at last so we do another operation R3 plus 4 R2. So R3 plus 4 R2 0, R3 plus 4 R2 0, and R3 plus 4 R2 gives us 7. Now we are here in the third row, we have just two elements 0. The third element is not 0. It means this system has not non-trivial solution. This system will have trivial solution. And the system has trivial solution only when the system is non-singular. So this system is non-singular and has trivial solution. Now in the second part, uh, by doing the two operation R2 minus 2 and it becomes 0, it becomes 3 and it becomes minus 2. And uh, Second operation is R3 minus 2 and becomes 0. It becomes 0, it becomes 0. So the third row is completely 0. It means this matrix is singular and this system has non trivial solution. Non trivial solution. Now move to the third part. Oh, it becomes 2 minus 1, pi 3, 2 minus 3, 1 minus 1, 4. Oh. And doing the operation over here, 2 operation, and at last, oh, we have this matrix of oh, POMO. Oh. So in this matrix, all the three elements is 0. In the third row, it means this system is also singular and uh, this system is a uh, have non trivial solution now move to the next question question number 13 uh, if a inverse is equal to 2 3 1 4 find a and question number 14 is same like question number 13 it tells that if a inverse is 3 4 minus 1 minus 1 find a so using the formula a a a into a inverse is equal to i let's suppose my uh, uh, original matrix a is equal to a b c d so multiply with a inverse which is 2 3 1 4 this will be equal to identity matrix 1 0 0 1 by solving it will give us a 4 by 5 b minus 3 by 5 c minus 1 by 5 d 2 by 5 now putting these a b c d over here so it will give us the required a now using the same formula over here so and making the equation for linear equation and finding power a b c d through elimination substitution method and putting in a b c d it will give us the required a which is minus 1 minus 4 and 1 and 3 now move to the next question question number 16 you know, it tells that for all values of a for which the inverse of this matrix 3 cross 3 order matrix exists what is the a inverse of? so taking the given matrix which is 1 1 0 1 0 0 and 1 2 a on the right hand side of the partition we will take the identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 and this is the best method for finding the a inverse of. so over here i will do the two operation so R1 minus R2 it gives us 0, it gives 1, it gives us 0, 1 minus 0, 1, 0 minus 1 minus 1, 0 minus 0, 0. And the second operation is R2 minus R3. So 1 minus 1, 0, 0 minus 2 minus 2, 0 minus A minus A, 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 0, 1, 0 minus 1, 8 minus 1. After this, another operation is R3 plus 2, R2. So this is R3 and this is R2. So R3 plus 2, R2, 0. And here it becomes 0. Here it becomes minus A. Here it becomes 2 minus 1 minus 1. Now after this, oh, we will make this 1, 0. So we will do another operation R1 minus R2. So 1 minus 0, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. And it becomes 0, 1, 0. Now over here, if we put A, 0. So this entirely row will be 0. So when the entirely row are column is 0, it means the given matrix will be singular. But over here we are talking about inverse, so inverse will exist only when the given matrix is non-singular. So over here A can take all real value except for the case of 0. By putting 0 it becomes singular but we need the inverse and for inverse we need the non-singular matrix. So A can take all real value except 0.